poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Again we are back here on the Biffa Tech server. And today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I think we're still gonna have some uh, time lapses of some statues that we need to do. But also we are gonna start off at 5 with a few things that we've uh, actually already accomplished over here. Um, one of them is that we finally have in a um, a uh, enchanting room. Finally got the achievement enchanting. So nothing too fancy here, just an enchanting room. Put it in in here into the uh, into our little magical area. Um, we have not started on any more of Laputo. I do definitely want to get started on that. However, I have started. The one thing I definitely want to make sure that I get a recording of for you guys is that I've started working on the cave that I'm going to have for Gypsy Fox's um, boat or ship. Ship boat. And the area that I've picked out is this right down here. I think I'm going to make this waterfall a little bit more prevalent. This is natural. This is this is natural right here. And I think this super fantastic natural area. I mean, look at this. So, super cool naturistic area. We are going to take this and we're going to expand it just a little bit. Uh, probably up to the top of uh, midway through that dirt there. We're going to expand, expand a crack there and extend out the waterfall. And... We're going to turn this into the cave that we need. So you can see I've already started digging out here. Um, it's going to extend back ways. There's going to be another uh, hallway, uh, another cave that uh, we can get in through the top there. So eventually you're going to be able to uh, come through this direction and rather than coming down here in order to get to the ship. But we need an actual port area for the ship to actually squeeze through. So, that is over there. And also, what I need to show you is over in the spawn area. And uh, we have been uh, getting things ready for Halloween. Um, I've been doing some things around in spawn, so I thought, what the heck, start de decorating spawn with some of the Halloween stuff. So uh, here we have a giant skull that uh, the design I isn't entirely mine. I picked, just took a picture off of a Google search and just uh, took the picture and uh, transferred it into uh, chisel and bits. So I took that and then I added in these eyes, this little head thing, these weird little magical eyebrows I guess. Blood into the mouth and an underbite to him. I have the uh, Halloween themed fence. I experimented with actually extending the fence around some of these trees area. It didn't look that great. So I just kind of left it as its singularity thing here. Which it looks okay there. It looks fine. Um, I'm trying to think of some other Halloween things that I might do. Ooh! I just thought of one, something. I might be able to make like a little spiders that hang from the trees. That would look really cool. Um, I got some zombies here that uh, I made out of chisel and bit. Um, the uh, normal format for most uh, for most of these guys that I build are two blocks. So one, two. You got two blocks. This is the Mr. Needs that I actually forgot to show you in last episode, but this is the Mr. Needs statue that I brought up. Yes, there is a problem with this, but that is on the character skin himself. But it works out fine from the front checkered area. Wow, that red really messes with the eyes. Um, but yeah, it's usually two blocks. This one kind of annoys me with the fact that it is actually three blocks. And not only that, but it's three blocks, and if you actually try to put these hands directly onto the arm it doesn't work and it'll apply it behind the statue the fists will actually go from from the front it'll just apply into the back so i need this block here in order to put the hands onto little annoying but whatever got the job done got the project up uh got these zombies that are coming out of the grave 
Um, I thought these were really cool. And it had the sign back there, R.I.P. back there, rest in peace. And Leosara said it would be a lot better if it's a zombie grave, it should say BRB. So now they say BRB. All the little zombie graves that are around here. Um, I haven't heard of anybody actually getting scared from these other than myself. I've actually come through here and wandered around a bit going, Oh god, there's a zombie right there! Hermagur! But, uh, yeah, they actually kind of spook me out of the coming around the corner of the corner of my eye. Just, uh, bam, there's a zombie there. Whoa! Zombie! So I've scattered them amongst the spawn area. Anybody that actually wants... <laughs> oh, that one did scare me. Oh, gosh, I wasn't... Those are the times we're acting. This one, who went silent there because it actually scared me. Um, anybody that wants to take these guys home, go right ahead. I've got a... I got a bajillion of them actually stored up inside of my, uh, inside of my home base, so it's no problem there. I like what somebody's done up here. Not only have they extended the path, which I think is cool, but they have this vining up here, and I think this is fantastic. Uh, Meg plays Ellie's home. Eliander. Oh, hey! Eliander is in the Leosara chat right now. I'm actually watching Leosara's uh, stream right now. I actually paused it just to, um, just to, uh, just to record a little bit before I start working a little bit more on my place. And, uh, her, her vines, I noticed, um, go, are a nice ladder right to the roof. Look at that. That vine, you can just stair-step right up to the roof. I think that's awesome. And there's these little, uh, there's these little vines up here too that uh nobody has has uh is ever gonna see except for somebody that actually decides to climb these vines i think this is fantastic thank you very much ellie ellie th this is a fantastic little castle here it is awesome oh you put in little uh divots inside of the wall in order to give it some weathered look oh i like that Oh, I've got to come in inside now. Oh, look at this. Oh, chisel blick. This is a... What is this? Microwave? Oh, this has got to be a microwave or something. No, no. Oh, my God. Phone <laughs> vibrated. I thought it was somebody talking at me. Like a ghost. No, this is a TV. This has got to be like the couch or something like here, right here. And that's got to be the um, AMFN. Bunny ears. Oh, my gosh. Somebody that actually remembers bunny ears. Now, why are there thingies here? Can I can I go down? No. Okay. Well, that's kind of. You know, I'm not. I'm. I'm not in your house. I swear. Eliander is on. This is. I lo I I absolutely like. Like love your house that you have here at Spawn. It is fantastic. I just have to shout out to that. That is super, awesomely fantastic. Um, the other thing I was thinking of was, eh, mm, that one scared me too. Uh, I have an actual fear of the undead. Um, my, uh, friends constantly harass me about it. And, uh, if you've ever seen Doctor Who, The Empty Child, where the kid comes along going, Mommy, are you my mommy? And touches somebody and makes, makes them one of him. That is the freakiest Doctor Who episode ever. Ever! Oh, hey, there's an actual zombie! Would you look at that? No! Wheat, look at that. Let you die off in the sun. Um, so... I was thinking about coming along here and actually bringing along some... Some, uh... Stuff. What am I... What are the words I'm thinking of? Some fall trees! I know that there's some, uh... Some fall trees that I should come along. Maybe around November I'll start turning things into little fall trees. Um, fall trees? Fall trees? Pull trees. I should have some poultry fall trees. <laughs> Make it out of chicken! Make the trees out of chicken! Poultry fall trees! Oh yeah! Oh, hey. Was this pink last time I came up to it? Mr. Needs' his house? Come over here. Pink door. What is this? An eucalyptus... Uh, Mr. Needs, humble abode. I thought you might like these. 
The Thomas Trinity. Hmm. Plum. Well, that's very good. Anybody that uses these is sure to have their house be straight and plum. Ha! Ha! How, how straight is that? How level it is, is it? Well, it's level because I made it out of plum. Ha! Ha! The jokes! Um, I've got to ask Leosar where she actually got these blue cave crystals. These are fantastic. Most likely, I, I'm, I'm thinking she got it from, like, uh, this Batania or, uh, ooh. What was that? Oh, did it just take some of my XP? I oh, probably just did. Um, I, I'm wondering if it came from that star mod, star mod, or the, uh, the flower mod, the Batania mod, don't know. One of the two. Um, don't know if I showed you this. I got these chairs made for this area. Nothing, nothing too big. You can't, you can't actually sit in them. Just, I just made them. That's about it. So, all right. Ah, uh, I think that's everything that I need to show you for right now. That I've made. I'm gonna start working on some other things, such as uh, the menu Laputa. And uh, some more statues, get some uh, time lapse of some more people that are working on the Bifitech server, S distribute some of those statues around here, definitely going to get one for Coffee Queen, yeah you'll definitely see one in this episode for like Coffee Queen and uh, Ellie, for sure, for sure, that is a fantastic plot house, I love that a plot house, it's super awesome. So, all right, everybody. Let's get busy. All right, so we've got two more statues here. I completely forgot to do the recording for the statues. Um, I wish I did, because Omega popped over here while I was uh, working on one of the statues. And uh, he, he had on one of uh, the skins for for himself that he wears during Halloween. It was um, the guy from Labyrinth? I forget his name. But um, anyways, he came in and uh, I realized that he didn't have any ball in his hand. Something that that character from Labyrinth definitely needs. So I tossed him an Ender Pearl and here he was switching it from his left to his right hand. And I thought that was hilarious, doing uh, all those ball tricks. It's like, look, I am the guy from Labyrinth. So, yep, Omega came over. Uh, I was working on Coffee Queen's statue at the time. Um, we're going to go ahead and go over to uh, her place, which is right over there, Coffee Queen. Um, we're going to deliver this statue to her place. And then we also have uh, Ellie's statue here. Uh, we're gonna deliver that to her spawn house cause her uh, other house is just really far away. Let's go up here. And we are gonna actually just go take a look over at uh, Coffee Queen's place. Do, 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 do. Um, I haven't done too much more with uh, people's houses. Um, been, uh, kind of, uh, busy with the, uh, busy with, uh, the Halloween things. I'll, um, definitely get, uh, a little bit further. The only thing I've done much of is I've, uh, dug out a bit more space for the, for the ship. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Ah! Um, Puka. Well, while I'm here, might as well just take the, the quick way down here where I've uh, just dug out a bit of a cave and easier access into the into the cave port for the ship I think I'm gonna have the ship go left to right so the, the front of the ship will be here and the back of the ship will be somewhere further back into that wall because I have a pretty good amount of space headroom here and let's see here I can if I need to, I can... Uh, that'd be a bit of work in order to add in some extra stone. 
Uh, we'll have to figure out how to orient the ship a little bit better. Uh, Coffee Queen, this way. Okay, let's let's head in the right direction this time, shall we? In order to head over to Coffee Queen's place. Do 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 do. Awesome. I noticed that also in this pack that there's uh, less of the, uh, the self-damaging noises. Whenever I run into a... Uh, whoa, that was some lag. Whenever I run into uh, some poison ivy, I actually don't uh, take any uh, damage sound. It just, just ticks off for some reason. <laughs> oh, doodly 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 doodly. Okay, I think I, I think I came over here uh, showing off this area just a little bit. Uh, gonna have to figure out. Oop, right there. Um, well, fiddlesticks. How, how close can I get to her? To her spot. Let's see here. Claimed chunks. Oh. Well, fiddlesticks. We. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like she has a road out from here to that edge. Maybe. May Ooh, or I can put it on top of a hill over here. Ooh, on top of the tree. Here we go. Yeah, I'll put it on wilderness. Coffee queen. Ah, oh, dang it. I can't put it on top of a tree. Ooh, but I can put it on top of this block right here. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's put that there. Okay. Oh, I put the wrong one up. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. Coffee Queen's legs. Okay. And then... And there we go. Awesome! Now we have a statue up. Coffee Queen, if you see this video... You have up a statue right outside your spot in place there. All right. Now let's head off to spawn. And... Head over to Ellie's place and we'll put down her statue. Um, doodly -doo -doo -doo. Let's go this way. So I have all these zombie statues around here and... I keep forgetting where I put these guys. I know there's one right here, there's one right there. Uh, and I keep scaring... Keep scaring myself with them. Unintentionally. But thankfully, I have been scaring some other people too. So it has been doing its intended purpose. Uh, let's see here. Where to put you? I think I will put you on top of the tree as well. Do perfect. There we go. Now we have a spot for your statue. Awesome. Uh, L -E you whoop, that's not a nice spot. L -E you have a present at your town house. Do 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 do. Wow, there's a lot of lag. Puka. Yeah, that works quickly. Oh, um, also, let's go to spawn. Do, 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 do. And there is a... Uh, later... See you later, paperweight. There is also this over here that I put in here that has scared a couple people. The creeper. <laughs> His, his skin is okay. I mean, it's it, it's good enough that when from this angle, it'll scare somebody. Uh, it's already scared a couple people, so... And there's some people that come out here and just like, Oh, this is a zombie. So, I, I have these placed rather nicely. I, I like how I like how these are, these are placed. So, this place is getting filled up with some statues. Um... Hookah! Okay. There we go. And alrighty. Um, if there's any more time in this episode, I'm going to spend it on people's houses. Otherwise, 
uh, that I'm gonna call it here so uh, thank you everybody for watching I'm going to get a little bit more done on the houses rather than filling around with Halloween stuff but I thought that was fantastic so uh, <laughs> you're welcome So this is the Puka signing out. Later, all.